All right, here's the story. Several years ago, they used to call me. I used to go out on a ranch up here that is a desert bighorn sheep uh, reintroduction area. And they tried to control the lion population because I guess like bighorn sheep, desert bighorn sheep are like, it's like ice cream to lions, you know. So they try to keep them out of there. And uh, they got a biologist that works there and he's a snare man also and he snares. But every now and then they'd have a lion that would get out uh, of a snare or they didn't, the guy wasn't in the right area and they'd find a track and they'd call me and I'd go up there. Anyway, I've been up there a few times. I mean, one time we caught a lion in a bluff, and uh, I was I was free casting the dogs and and riding through there on my mule, and uh, they call me on my telephone. Cell phone works there, and they call me and said, "Hey, we got a camera. They've got like I, I don't know how many uh, uh, trail cameras on that mountain." And uh, they call me and said, "Hey, we got a picture of a lion over here at nine o'clock, or they got a picture of a lion here." came through here last night you know like three or four o'clock in the morning it was already nine o'clock and every time my phone rings i better get it sorry okay i'm back where was i oh and, and I was riding through and, you know, bighorn sheep, lots of bighorn sheep, bighorn sheep kills. And uh, they get a lot of money for hunting those bighorn sheep. And anyway, and, and I, I, I had rode through and, and, and uh, seen some pretty nice rams in there. Anyway, I got the phone call and I took off and I, you know, went across and, and got over there about 9 o'clock. It was already, you know, 70-something degrees, 80 degrees. And we had already caught a, a lion out on the flats earlier that and i'll show you a little video of that here in a minute but anyway we got over there and the dogs were milling around milling around i had a young dog uh cleo i don't have her anymore she died on me and uh i was got to watching her man she went over there and she was whipping her tail and pretty soon she opened up and the other dogs went there man they took off and we went up the side of this bluff and or up the side of this mountain Put those rocks down so i don't gotta deal with them come here little video the lion and the dogs went that way. That way. <laughs> and we're trying to follow. We came from that way. Jeez. And they caught that lion right down on the bottom of the bluff. And there, you know, you could see the dust and the dogs and the barking and everything. Pretty soon that lion shot right up the side of that bluff. I mean, she went up and the dogs. The dogs couldn't get up through there, so we got the dogs moved around, and they went up and over, and we climbed up through a little old crack there, and and uh, got up on top, and and the dogs had trailed, and got that mountain is really terrible because the the bluffs are high enough that the lions can get through, but the, the dogs can't, and uh, have a real hard time getting in out in and out of there, you know. So we got up on top, and the dogs were milling around. They they I'd get a bark every now and then, but they weren't doing anything. And we're, big old canyons coming in there and fingers going out. And, and uh, I got to looking at my dogs and I couldn't find HB. And uh, I said, oh, shoot, you know, what happened? I mean, there's a 200-foot uh, bluff. I don't know if it's 200 foot. It's a long ways down. And I thought, oh, no, that, that lion went down over here somewhere, knocked her off this bluff. And the biologist went around and, and he was on the other side and he has binoculars. And I said, hey, I said... You know, take a look down there and see if you can see my dog. And and uh, he said, yeah, I see her. I said, well, you know, I just assumed she was probably dead. And I don't know how she got down there, but she was down there and she was opening up and still trying to trail that lion. I have no idea where the lion went to, but little old HB was down there just trying her best to try to trail that lion up. Anyway, we didn't catch that lion. So it's a beautiful ranch, a lot of game on it, a lot of, lot of uh, deer, a lot of bighorn sheep, coyotes. Come on, let's go. Look, coyote right there. Come out here chasing my dogs. It's kind of hard to break your dogs off coyotes when the damn coyotes are come out down on the ground and chase you. Hey, 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 come on, let's go, guys. Hey, 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 let's go. Listen to him. I don't know what he's just raising hell. He thinks he's pretty tough. 
Where's he at? He must be in the brush. He's in that brush right now, but come on guys. That ain't no good. Heard that bark. I didn't know what the heck it was. It was one of my dogs. Oh, well. let's go find a liar. Uh, Oryx, and uh, now it goes all the way down to the lake. So Lion hunting at the lake. So there's water down on the bottom. They got these big catchments where the rain is caught and drained into, you know, water. Uh, tanks for the for the wildlife and time out I missed yesterday when I was making the narration talking about the part where we catch a lion I don't know I just did anyway so I'm going to add this I was editing it today trying to get it out and uh, so I'll add this now I got a call saying that they had had a lion that had killed an antelope at a stock tank that was within the bighorn sheep range so any lion at that time that got in the bighorn sheep range had a death sentence. They just they were going to kill it one way or another. So anyway, they'd set a snare. The biologist set a snare, and the lion had had gotten out of it, jumped jumped it, or whatever they do, you know. So they called me, and it was in the summertime. And it was hot. I got there probably about nine o'clock, nine thirty, something like that in the morning. Got uh, and I didn't video the dogs trailing or them striking the track or the kill or anything like that but I got a little video at the end anyway put the dogs down I put some dogs down they didn't start they wouldn't start it they smell all around there wouldn't start it and then I got Lily and HB out and Solo out and they started it and then Super Hoover and all of them went and they trailed down this dirt road we trailed probably not even a half a mile I bet maybe a half a mile I had a guy that was with me that had a gun and I was worried anyway because there's no trees you know it's just all you know just desert like I usually hunt but there's no rocks or bluffs or anything for the lion to get up on anyway there was one little old mesquite tree out there in this draw this low uh, almost like an arroyo but uh we we're going down through there and the dogs were trailing bah, bah, and they were opening it up and I looked up ahead and that lion had been bedded down underneath that one and only tree out there and jumped up in that tree and I told that guy that was with me and had the gun I said you need to shoot that lion right now out of that tree for those dogs get there because they'll pull that lion out of that tree and then we'll have a big old fight on the ground there and it'll be nasty you know so he shot and he missed the lion the lion jumped out of the tree when he shot all the dogs heard the shot and they just came back to us out of habit and they're looking around wondering what we shot at anyway that lion hit the ground then went up a little old incline a little old hill there and i got part of that video right here and uh he ended up shooting again any any and he wounded the lion. The lion went over the hill where I got the dogs back on the track and the dogs trailed over the hill. And then you'll see this little bit of video when they when they catch the lion, bay him up. So that was, it was a big old female, you know, dry female, didn't have any kittens, probably hadn't had kittens for a few years. We had probably been moved out of good range for whatever reason and ended up down there in that those flats. But that's the story. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I got some video not I mean it's uh, some of it's shaky some of it's you know typical of that throwback stuff that that's on that old hard drive and and uh, but I'm trying I'm, like I said I'm trying to get it cleaned up trying to put it out there maybe somebody will find it entertaining or interesting or maybe learn something from it I, I know I've learned a lot from it but anyway if you if you like it right here subscribe right down here there's some other videos you can watch Crush that like button, as they say. And anyway, that's it. Here we go.